One of the most fascinating problems in the history of mathematics is the brachistochrome problem. Posted in the 17th century, it seeks to answer a seemingly simple question. What is the fastest path between two points in a gravitational field? This problem marked the birth of variational calculus and revolutionized physics and mathematics. The word brachistochrone comes from Greek and is composed of two parts. Brachis, meaning short or fast, chronos, meaning time. Therefore, brachistochrone literally means curve of shortest time, or fastest curve. Suppose we drop a particle from point A to point B, frictionless and under the sole influence of gravity. The most intuitive option would be a straight path. However, experience tells us that objects in freefall accelerate as they descend. This means that if the particle follows a curve that allows it to gain speed quickly at the start, it could reach its destination more quickly. In this case, the goal is to find a curve that minimizes travel time in a gravitational field. This challenge attracted the attention of the most influential mathematicians of the time, giving rise to variational calculus, a branch of mathematics dedicated to finding functions that optimize certain values. The search for this optimal curve and the intellectual competition among great mathematicians marked a milestone in the history of mathematical analysis. In 1696, the Swift mathematician Johann Bernoulli, a member of the illustrious Bernoulli family, a dynasty of scientists and mathematicians who left a profound mark on the history of science, was born. Johann Bernoulli publicly posed the brachistochrone problem as a challenge to Europe's greatest mathematicians. He was convinced that solving it required an innovative approach and wanted to test the ingenuity of his contemporaries. Although it seemed like a geometric problem, the solution required mathematical tools that were still developing. Mathematicians such as Isaac Newton, Jacob Bernoulli, Gottfried Leibniz, and the Guillaume de la Hapital accepted the challenge. The rivalry between Newton and Leibniz, exacerbated by the dispute over the invention of calculus, added tension to the competition. Newton solved the problem in a single night and submitted his solution anonymously. Upon seeing it, Bernoulli exclaimed the famous phrase, I recognize the lion by its claws. Jacob Bernoulli also found a solution and proposed an alternative derivation. Ultimately, it was discovered that the optimal curve was neither a straight line nor a parabola, but a cycloid generated by a point on the rim of a moving wheel. The brachistochrone problem could not be solved with the traditional mathematical tools of differential calculus. Its solution required a new branch of mathematics, variational calculus, whose goal is to find functions that optimize certain quantities. Variational calculus studies how a function changes when small variations are made in its form. Unlike standard calculus, which works with derivatives of functions, in variational calculus, an optimal function is sought from an infinite set of possible solutions. A key concept in this problem is the Euler-Lagrange equation, which establishes a necessary condition for a function to minimize or maximize an integral value. It is expressed as the total derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to y prime minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y equals zero. Where f is a function of x, y, and y prime is the function to be optimized, and y prime represents its derivative. Euler and Lagrange were not directly involved in the original solution to the Brachistochrone problem, as this had been posed in 1696 by Johann Bernoulli. However, Leonard Euler and Joseph-Louis Lagrange were key figures in the subsequent development of the calculus of variations, which became a central tool for addressing similar problems, such as the brachistochrone. The brachistochrone problem is also related to the principle of least action, a fundamental idea in physics. This principle states that physical systems evolve along paths that minimize a quantity called action. To find the optimal curve in the brachistochrone problem, it is necessary to formulate a differential equation that describes its shape. To do this, the principle of least action and variational calculus are used. The time it takes for a particle to move from A to B under the action of gravity is given by the following integral. The time t is equal to the integral of the arc differential ds divided by the velocity v. 
where ds is a differential element of the curve and v is the velocity of the particle. It is known that a differential element of arc length in Cartesian coordinates is given by ds equals square root of quantity dx squared plus dy squared equals square root quantity 1 plus y squared with respect to dx. Substituting this into the time t equation, the time t equals integral of square root quantity 1 plus y squared over v with respect to dx. The velocity v of the particle is given by the conservation of mechanical energy. Since part of the initial energy is converted into kinetic energy as the particle descends, we have mgy equals 1 half mv squared. Clearing, v equals square root quantity 2gy, rewriting the equation of time, time t equals integral square root of quantity 1 plus y squared over square root quantity 2gy with respect to dx. This is the objective function that is sought to be minimized. In variational calculus, to find the function y of x that minimizes an integral of the form, i equals integral f of x y y prime with respect to dx. The Euler-Lagrange equation is applied. The total derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to y prime minus the partial derivative of f with respect to y equals zero. For this case, the function f is f equals the integral of square root of quantity 1 plus y squared over square root of quantity 2gy dx. Since f does not depend on x explicitly, there is a property in variational calculus that allows the problem to be simplified. f minus y times the partial derivative of f with respect to y prime equals c. Solving this differential equation reveals that the curve that minimizes the descent time is not a straight line or a parabola, but a cycloid. This result is surprising and demonstrates how nature follows optimization principles that can be described using advanced mathematics. The parametric equation of a cycloid, considering a radius r, is expressed as x equals r times quantity theta minus sine theta, y equals r times quantity 1 minus cosine theta, where theta is the parameter representing the angle of rotation of the circle generating the cycloid. This curve ensures that the particle always descends in such a way that it quickly reaches the highest possible speed and, at the same time, uses its momentum to reach the endpoint in the shortest time. The cycloid is a plane curve that has applications in physics, optics, engineering, and architecture. The brachistochrone problem remains a benchmark in applied mathematics, demonstrating how a simple question led to advances in multiple disciplines.